I want to talk about os.walk. That's the function I want to talk about. All right, so first thing I have to do is show you what I'm going to be looking at, what I'm going to be walking through. Here's a file called h colon backslash tests. In tests, I have two files, midterm.docx and stats.pdf. Also contained within this folder is another folder, baby tests. I double click on that, and I've got one file there. Let me make this clear. Just one file in there, babystats.pdf. It's all I have. And that's in the baby tests folder. So I have tests and baby tests. Two files and one file. I want this system to say, look, you're in the test folder, you have one folder, baby tests, and you have two files. Then I want it to go into the baby tests folder and say, Listen, you're in the test, baby test folder, and you've got no folders contained therein, but you do have one file, babystats.pdf. That's what I want this guy to tell me. So this is how I'm going to tell Python to tell me that. First thing I'll do is I'll import OS. And I'm going to talk about the parent directory. Path equals h colon back back tests. That's where I'm going to start all this stuff from. And now I'm going to key in the for loop and the last command, of course, for these three items, path, directories, and files. This is what I'd like you to do. For each one of the path directories, files, in os.walk, starting with path, that's this guy here. Starting with this guy here. Path. This guy here. This is what I want you to do. I want you to walk through all the subfolders and files. And I want you to do the following. I want you to print out the path. I want you to print out the directories in that path, and I also want you, within that first path, I want you to print out the files of that path. And now, when you're done, I want you to print out star, 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 so that I know you're done with that particular path and you're going to go to the next subfolder, if there is any. All right, let's see what happens, and let's see if it matches what we're hoping for, which is this guy here. All right, let's hit enter two times, and away we go. Let's see what I got. I have on the first one, the path is tests. Do I have folders in tests? Do I have directories there? Yes, I do. Baby tests. Ah, that's good so far. <coughs> do I have files in here? Yes. Do I have files in here? Yes. Midterm.docx and stats.pdf. Let's go and check and see if this matches. There's tests, there's baby tests, and they have the two files. This works so far. I've now come to the end. There are the stars. So, I move that to the side for a second. Come down here. Print out what? Path. Next path down is baby test. It just took this baby test folder and now makes him the path. Ah, now I'm on this path, baby test. Does baby tests, I'm going to double click on baby test, does baby tests have any folders in it? Answer, no it doesn't. Empty. Does baby tests have any files in there? Yes, it does. Babystats.pdf. And that's exactly what I've got right there. And then it prints out the stars because it's done. And there's nothing else. And so the program ends. And that's it. 
there were our commands. Import OS, path, the parent path, where you start all, all the stuff out from, is h colon backpack tests. Then for path directories and files, in OS dot walk path, do the following. Take this path, walk through it, Mr. Operating System module, and for that path, tell me what the directories and files are. For each and every path, tell me what the directories and files are. When you're finished doing that, take what the directories are, make that the path, and show me what directories and files are in that path. Find do that with every single one of the directories you find in each and every single path. And print out the path, directories and files contained therein. And that's what this thing is doing. And as you can see, that's indeed exactly what it did. And that's pretty much all I have to say for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.